now, again, it's me, the man who knows everything. And um, I'm here live on the internet to give you my incredible knowledge. Now, as you know, yesterday I sent you a challenge of finding out 10 facts about ancient Egypt. So I hope you've got your list with you now, because what's going to happen is I'm going to give you my 10 facts. And if you've got it on your list, you can cross it off. And at the end of it, if you've got a fact that I ain't got, then you can leave it in the comments or get an adult to do it for you. Right. Because then you'll have defeated the mayonnaise everything. But I don't think that's going to happen really easy because my brain is massive and I'm going to know all the stuff that you've got on your list anyway. So are you ready for me 10 facts about ancient Egypt? Well, fact number one, the ancient Egyptians had their own alphabet and it was called hieroglyphics and there were over 700 different hieroglyphs. So that's a bit like a letter. Over 700 different hieroglyphs in the Egyptian alphabet. That was, excuse me, I'm getting a bit excited with my knowledge. That was fact number one. Fact number two, check this off your list because it's bound to be on there. That Egyptian men and women wore makeup and they used to believe it gave them magical powers. Sounds a bit bonkers if you ask me. So they would wear it around their eyes. They would get green makeup from copper. They'd get black makeup from lead. Now, we know nowadays you can get lead poisoning, can't you? So I don't think the Egyptians were as clever as I am. So they used to believe it gave them magical healing powers in their eyes. Then there were other things that Egyptians invented. And this is fact number three. So the ancient Egyptians invented pens, paper called papyrus, cross it off if it's on your list. And they also invented toothpaste. I know, can't believe it. We know this because there were some instructions about toothpaste written on some, some, pap some papyrus that people found. <coughs> now, in around about 2002, there were some people who made this toothpaste and it was made up of ground up ox hooves and burnt eggshell and ashes from a fire. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to put that anywhere near me gob, let alone my teeth. So, that was fact number three. They invented pens, paper, toothpaste. Now, fact number four is bound to be on your list that the ancient Egyptians had lots of different rulers and these rulers were called pharaohs and the most famous pharaoh was Tutankhamun. It's the most well known out of all the pharaohs that ever ruled over ancient Egypt. <coughs> One of the reasons he's so famous is because he became pharaoh when he was nine years old. Can you believe he ruled an over entire empire at the age of nine? If you're nine, can you imagine that? No, I can't either. So, no, that was fact number four. Fact number five, not only did they have lots of different rulers in their time, but they also believed in lots of different gods and goddesses. So lots of different religions believe in lots of different things. But in ancient Egypt, they believed in hundreds and hundreds of gods and goddesses. And some of the most important ones that are probably on your list are Ra the sun god, and he was the most important of all the gods, and they believed that he created all the life on earth. There was um, Horus, or if you're saying it proper, Horus, but I'll say Horus, don't worry. Horus, the sky god, and they believed that the pharaoh was a human version of Horus, or was really closely related to him. And then there was also Osiris, the god, of the underworld, which is where they believe people went to when you died. So if you've got any of them gods on your list, cross them off, because I know it already. I can know everything. Talking about the afterlife and the underworld, when people in ancient Egypt died, they wanted, if you were a pharaoh, to be buried in a pyramid. So you could get buried with all your stuff that you would take with you to 
the afterlife. So they'll be buried in this enormous pyramid with all their belongings and stuff. And um, there are over 100 and I think there were 138 pyramids in Egypt, which is incredible. So if you've got 138 or anything about pyramids on your list, cross it off because I know it. And the tallest pyramid was over 480 foot tall. That's massive. Um, and it's called the Pyramid of Khufu. So if you've got pyramids on your list, cross them off. Obviously, when people died, they don't just bury them. They don't bury them at all. They put them in these tombs, don't they? So they would mummify them. It's definitely on your list about mummification. People love a bit of mummification because it's gross. And I'll tell you for why it's gross. Because they used to take out all of their internal organs from a body. So your stomach, uh, your lungs, your brain. And they used to put a hook up your nose, pull your brain out. And they used to keep them in canopic jars. So if you've got canopic jar on your list, cross it off. The only internal organ they'd keep inside you was your heart, because I believed it contained your soul. That was fact number seven. Fact number eight is that when they were wrapped up all these bodies in bandages, if you were to unravel it, all of them bandages would reach 1.6 kilometers, which is loud. I can't believe it. I, when I first heard that fact myself, I was quite surprised. It has to be said, but I've known that fact for a while. Not only would they be buried with all of their stuff, they might also be buried with some of their pets, like cats, because cats were very important in ancient Egyptian times. And this is fact number nine, that basically every household pretty much had a pet cat because they were worshipped and they were sacred in ancient Egypt. So they often found mummified cats inside these tombs as well. But it was just cats that they mummified. So they even found, and you can't believe this, a mummified crocodile. It's true. That's a fact. I know everything. So that is fact number nine. So if you've got anything about mummification, anything about cats, anything about pyramids, anything about pharaohs, anything about gods, anything about the Egyptian alphabet, the hieroglyphs, anything about makeup, anything about toothpaste, papyrus, pens, inventions, cross them off your list. Now this is my final fact, number 10. And it's technically about ancient Egypt, but it happened in the 1920s. There was an archaeologist called Howard Carter, and he was an Egyptologist, and he studied Egypt, and he went to Egypt, and Howard Carter, in November 1922, he is the person that discovered Tutankhamun's tomb. So if you've got anything on your fact list about finding the tomb of Tutankhamun, anything about the supposed curse that happened, and if you don't know about the curse, you can look that up, but it ain't true, who knows then you can cross it off your list. So there's my 10 facts about ancient Egypt. Check them off against your list. And if you've got a fact that I mentioned, then get an adult to stick it in the comments below. And if you're lucky, I might even mention it tomorrow in tomorrow's video. So that brings me on to tomorrow's topic, which is Tudor, England. So you've got 24 hours to do a bit of research, have a look in a book, think about it in your brain, you might already have some facts. And then if you've got an adult with you, you can have a look on the internet and find out 10 facts about Tudor, England. Let's see if you can beat me tomorrow. So remember, if you've got a fact that I ain't got about ancient Egypt, ask an adult to stick it in the comments. If you want a topic that you want to suggest that everyone can research and stick that in the comments as well. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks very much. Tarara bit. Bye.